guys, Joe with OMGRC.com. So today we got in the Kaiju from Red Cat. It's a 1 8 scale, 150 amp ESC, 25 kilogram servo, 2100 kV motor that's in here. So let's get this thing cracking. Let's get it open. Um, QC on it. It's even got a little sticker here. So let's get this thing out of the box. Take a look at it. Let's get a little close up to this thing here, too, so you guys can see it all. Let's pull it out of, out of here first. <laughs> here yeah. okay so the stickers you know same kind of radio as far as on your the gen 8 and stuff like that and a lot of different uh, line of red cat stuff but it's got different stickers on there now um, with their new logo so Nike like it let's take this oh that looks good so it looks good inside there as well as far as the radio with your trim settings four double A's at the bottom nice. all right so take a look at even get stickers in there so thank you red cat <laughs> very cool get some tools with it 17 millimeter, you get some other little hex wrenches in there as well. You get your instruction manual, so very cool. All right, on to the good stuff right here. Main thing that attracted me too, all within this truck itself, was that little Red Cat sticker that's in there too. I was like, oh, that thing looks pretty cool. So these kind of look like a Pro Line type tire anyway. Let's get this body off of me, or this plastic off. Pop that there. All right, let's get the front. So we have some LEDs, There's little shackles there too, or plastic, but. LEDs up in the front of it. I think it looks pretty good. Someone said like it looks like a Datsun front end of it. Um, so I probably would agree with something like that too. Oh yeah, the shocks feel good on this thing. Nice and firm. Wow. Don't need to put any oil in that right now, so that looks good. Let's go ahead and take a look at underneath of it. Again on that the wheelie bar too. I would say those are ball bearings that are in there as far as on that wheelie bar too. I do like these, how they're tethered to the body. So very cool. Obviously that's kind of like, feels like that would be like an Arma thing, right? So I like it, you know? Yeah, okay, that's cool. I like that, I like that a lot. Nice touch, Red Cat. All right, so what I'm getting at, let's take a look at this first. It does have like, like a metallic to it, so it's almost like, you know. I like it, I do like it. I think they did a good job on this thing. So, very nice, Red Cat. Digging it. Over. Let's get that out of the way. I like this. So first RC ever that I've had where it has this little dust cover over it. Very nice touch. I like that. Some small little details like that keep all that crap out of there when you're running your vehicle. So nice, it has like little hooks or whatever you want to call that so you can, so it can grab on. So that's nice. Easy peasy, but better here too. Just overall. You can see it. Now I did have someone ask me before like, oh is the spur gear um, plastic? And I was told by Red Cat, yes it is. So eh, I'm okay with that for now. You can always upgrade it, I'm sure. If they don't have it now, they'll have it later. So the 150 amp electronic speed controller, Hobby Wing, uh, 2100 kV motor that's in here. It kinda looks like a Hobby Wing too, so I'd imagine it probably is a Hobby Wing. Um, your servo, 25 kilogram, so it's able to go from like five volts to 7.2 volts. So not bad at all. Um, you know, looking at the chassis as well. So to me, like these how these shock towers are built and everything, like reminds me of like the X Max a little bit as far as how they kind of came up on here to give you support. But like it. Uh, so let's take a look here. So we get Dean connections. It is what it is, man. As far as you know, if you're not happy with, oh, it came with Dean connections. Honestly, I don't see it as a big deal. That little, I don't know what you ever call. It. I call it like a loop. Anyhow, so um, that way you can run it on, you know, a single pack or a two pack, like as far as, so this can run on 3S, 4S, you know, what have you, 6S power. Taking a look at it all, obviously it's new to me as well. So just pulling this thing out of the box. But yeah, um, let me know too, if we, uh, you wanna do a little competition, because I got a little guy in the background and I'll kind of show you guys anyhow. You see that guy right there? That's a that's a uh, Team Corrali, so that's their Dementor in the back. Let's go ahead and get that one over there. Let's see what size comparison, because it's a 1.8 scale as well. All right, so let's do a little size comparison. Maybe you have this vehicle, maybe you have you know, some other vehicle, maybe you can kind of get an idea of the two, but I figured I'd show you guys this anyhow, the Dementor and the Kaiju. So all in all, I think this chassis stay about the same. It's just that the wheelie bar is longer on the Dementor, just the way it kind of, uh, 
kind of the way it just angled more. But nonetheless, this one's stationary. This one is adjustable as far as its wheelie bar on the Kaiju. Um, tire wise too, both of them feel like they're gonna balloon a little bit for sure. Um, I haven't driven this one at all. So this thing's brand spanking new, never ran. And obviously this one just came in today. So um, yeah, tire compounds on them. I don't mind them being soft because you're running off-road. It's just when you go on-road, you know, forget it because you're gonna balloon. So we will put belted tires on both these and we'll see how fast both of them go and uh, place your bets who will be faster. This is like over, it's like a 500 plus dollar vehicle. This is $399.99. Not a bad deal as far as this vehicle goes anyhow. So appreciate all you guys. And uh, let's get some other shots of this anyhow so you guys can check it out in all its glory because this thing looks really cool in its front, in the front end of it too. So let's get this guy out of the way. Um, the two LEDs up in the front here, there's little shackles that are there, just plastic anyhow, but nice. Uh, some little shock guards that are there as well. So I like it. I don't know how they are gonna do on 6S, but we'll see. Like I said, well, you know, it's all good. I think 4S is pretty good even for off-roading anyhow. So not bad, all-terrain tires, loom shocks, but they are plastic capped. I know it's kind of one of those things like, ah, oh, but I'm hopefully, hopefully they'll come out with uh, aluminum caps so you can put those on there. Because I know sometimes that does happen where the plastic caps will pop open or come off and then of course all your oil spills and it's a bro bummer. So the two red LEDs in the rear as well. And then again, that adjustable shock, um, wheelie bar as well. So liking it, it's looking good. You guys leave a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think about this vehicle. Anyhow, still waiting. Still want to see some running videos of it before you pull the trigger. But yeah, I'll be pulling that trigger pretty soon here. See how fast this thing goes. Like I said, I'll put some of the um, belt of tires on here anyhow. But anyway, appreciate you guys watching as always. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Check us out at omgrc.com. Share this with your friends. And we'll catch you in the next video. You guys take care. Thank you for watching.